All right, guys, so I need everyone's opinion and help on this one. Standing in a field of RVs, the aero restoration interior, that is complete. So the next project up for me is to build something. So I had it narrowed down, um, kind of had my mind set on maybe the RV10, which is this beautiful airplane. It's got four seats. Very wide cockpit. Cruises about 175 knots on about 12 gallons an hour. It's definitely a take you place kind of airplane. And so the plan was start building that. When that's almost done, sell the arrow, and then this becomes my cross country cruiser. The only thing it's not is aerobatic. All the other RVs are fully aerobatic. So it was a, between two aircraft for a while. It was between the RV 10, which has a nice wide cockpit, comfortable for two people up there side by side, or the RV 14, which also has the wide cockpit, lots of room in the front. It's basically the same in the front as the RV 10, what it doesn't have are back seats. So this is a two place airplane, but lots of luggage room in the back. Cruising and all that's about the same in it. Um, and overall it's kind of about the same size aircraft. The big difference is the 14 is fully aerobatic. So that's where I was stuck between the two because it's usually just me, maybe one other person in the airplane, but I do do some uh, mercy flights, angel flight kind of stuff. And typically when you do that, um, you know, the person you're taking to the hospital usually has someone traveling with them. So you kind of need those back seats. And that's what I use the arrow for other than, you know, instead of doing a hundred dollar hamburger run or something like that. Um, I'm going to post a future video about the angel flight mission and how you can volunteer to do that in a future video and go into detail on that. So look for that if you're looking for a way to do something kind of nice with your airplane. So I had it down between those two airplanes and I was leaning hard toward the 14, like I said, to sell the arrow, make that my cross country cruiser and, you know, use that. And then I came to Oshkosh. And then I started talking to people that are flying this, which is the RV-8. This is the RV-8. There's the RV-8A, which is a nose dragger instead of a tail dragger. But this is definitely not the cross-country cruiser. As you can see in the cockpit, it's a tandem, front and back, but it's also fully aerobatic. And I talked to several people that fly them out here. And one guy said it's absolutely the closest thing he's flown to flying a T-34 as far as performance and aerobatic and basically just a really fun airplane to fly. So the thought there is keep the arrow. That remains my cross country airplane. And this, which is a little bit of a smaller build also, and a less expensive build, um, just becomes my fun airplane for when I'm in the airplane by myself, which is most of the time, or just one other person who wants to go for a ride. Now, this has got a top speed about 179 knots, 200 horsepower engine, so it burns about 10 gallons an hour versus the 12 gallons an hour. So this could be a cross-country cruiser, just not as comfortable, um, but you can definitely take it places. Talked to a couple of guys that brought theirs in here from Texas and um, yeah, so you can cross country cruise in it for sure. It just doesn't have all the room. It does have behind the back seat, a pretty big luggage area. And there's also some room in the nose to put some luggage. So you can get stuff in, in there. So this is where I need your help. I'm gonna put a survey up looking for feedback. So RV 10, RV 14, 
or the RV8. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna mull it over for the next few weeks or months or whatever till I finally make a decision on that. Um, and I can't say I'll go 100% with the YouTube feedback to make the final decision, but I need something to kind of push me in one direction or the other to pull the trigger on this thing so I can get started on it. And then you guys can watch me build it, which that'll be fun. All right, so let me know what you think. Take the survey. Give me your comments. If you fly or have built any of these airplanes, tell me all about it, the pros, the cons, what you think on it. And uh, yeah. So the airplane building dilemma just got worse. I had narrowed it down to those three RVs, or I guess expanded my list to those three RVs. And then I remembered this. That is the velocity. And if you've never seen the inside of one, it's a luxury car of airplanes. It's gorgeous inside. It's fast, it's got high G tolerance, so you can do aerobatics in it. You can cruise at 170 to 200 miles an hour, depending on the engine. It's sleek, it's ergonomic. What am I gonna do? All right. So I'll put four airplanes on the survey. Let me know what you guys think. And if you would, in the comments, let me know why you think I should build whichever airplane you think I should build. And I'll look at that and <laughs> try to make a decision. Good luck to me with that. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm getting back to the air show.